So hey guys, I'm back with another video after a long while though. Today, let's talk about why the earth has an atmosphere but the moon doesn't. There are four basic factors or rules that govern if a planet or moon or any celestial object will retain its atmosphere. First of all, the most important, the mass of the object itself. Second most important thing is the speed, the velocity of the gases in the atmosphere. The temperature on the surface and the high altitudes of the planet or the object. And the fourth, if the object has a magnetic field or not. So the first factor, that is the mass, is very important. As the mass of the celestial object increases, its escape velocity simultaneously increases. So what is escape velocity? As we have talked about escape velocity in our previous videos, we'll take the same analogy. If we stand on the surface of the earth and shoot a bullet, if the bullet is a bit fast, it will go in a straight line and then fall on the earth's surface again because of the earth's gravity. But if the bullet is fast enough, it will make a whole circle around the earth. And if it's even faster, it will completely escape earth's gravitational field and just go into the vacuum. So this is escape velocity. And different planets have different masses, so they have different escape velocities. So different gases have different velocity. Only certain planets with huge mass can hold all gases. So if the velocity of gases are higher than the escape velocity of the planet or the celestial body, the gases just escape planet or the celestial body's gravitational field into the vacuum of space. I'll put a chart which shows the escape velocity of different planets and the moons in our solar system and the gases these planets can retain. Let's take the second factor and the third factor together. So actually I made a mistake before. I think I said velocity of the molecule. So it's not the velocity actually, it's the mass of the molecule in the atmosphere. So mass of the molecule will in turn actually tell you how fast the molecule will go. Like lighter molecules will obviously go faster. So the hydrogen will always be faster than the oxygen. Heavier gas, that's why. And temperature, as the temperature increases, the molecules speed also increases. So as we go further away in our solar system, the temperature decreases. So Saturn's moon Titan is a great example. Its escape velocity is only about twice that of our moon. But it has an atmosphere that's even thicker than our planet Earth's atmosphere. I forgot to tell you about the helium and hydrogen that were present during the formation of our solar system, which was the actual ingredient of the birth of our solar system. It's present in a, in a huge quantity in our gas giants as they have the required mass to keep the hydrogen and helium that are light elements within the atmosphere as the escape velocity is very high. Moon's escape velocity is very low. As we can see from the chart, it is closer to the sun than most of the planets and most of the moons in our solar system. It does, that's why mainly it does not have an atmosphere. The fourth major factor is a magnetic field. There's an evil sitting in the center of the solar system. Its solar winds can cause a lot of damage and to the atmosphere of planets and moons. It can rip off the atmosphere itself. Magnetic field are a perfect protection for a planet or a moon from this harmful solar winds. Our moon even lacks a magnetic field. That's why sadly, moon has no atmosphere. Guys, I just realized this part of my body is transparent, right? It's because of the green screen and my shirt having the same color. I guess this was all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. And I'll be surely uploading a new video every Thursday. So keep an eye for it. If you're new here, please do subscribe. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.